Hey y'all, just a southern girl. It would not be Thanksgiving without sweet, sweet potato souffle. And I say souffle because that's what we call it. Some people call it sweet potato casserole, but we call it sweet potato souffle. Alright. I usually use about three of those giant sweet potatoes. And you can boil them. You can... Um, Bake them in the oven. You can microwave them. I cooked mine in the air fryer this time to save some time. And they're still just a little bit warm. I couldn't get the big potatoes. Because Walmart sent me these. So these are still warm. And I'm just... They're better if you bake them. They have more flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape all this out. And then we'll mix it up. Alright, you're going to... <clears throat> You're going to need a half stick of butter, and since my potatoes are still warm, I'm not going to melt my butter. But if your potatoes, if you've done them ahead of time and you can do that, just add a half a stick of melted butter. And save your wrapper. Save that. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and let this butter get melted. And I just do it with a, with a big fork. Because I don't like mine all creamy, I mean, to a consistency of mashed potatoes or, um, what am I trying to say, a pie? Let's see, is my butter salted or not? If you have unsalted butter, mine is, you're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. Let me go ahead and add that before I forget, because I usually use salted butter. If you use salted butter, just omit the salt part. I'm just going to keep on mixing this around so my butter's melting. Because I keep my butter out in a butter dish. Old school. Alright. I don't add a lot of sugar to this. The filling. I just use a half a cup. Because I'm telling you it. Using a whole cup is overkill to me. Left a little bit of peeling in there. Oopsie. <laughs> Just mix it up, y'all. Get her done. Why did I say that? Anyway, half a cup of sugar. This is good. This is really, it's like dessert to me. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't eat this during my whole childhood. I just, I didn't, because I didn't think I'd like it. But now, I love it. All right, since all this is cooled down, we don't want to make scrambled eggs. That's why I waited last. I'm going to add two eggs. You can go ahead and mix these up, but you don't have to. It's Thanksgiving, y'all. We don't want to have to beat the eggs and all that first. I mean, just make it easy. And a half, not a half, a whole teaspoon. What am I talking about? A teaspoon of vanilla. I just mix them up like this. And some people put milk in here, and I just don't. I just never have. Y'all, I'm not blind. It's early in the morning for me. Um, I just don't add milk to mine because this, this is creamy enough right here. And especially if you boil your potatoes, I, I don't. Mm -mm. Anyway. I like mine a little chunky like this. All right, I'm going to set this to the side, and I'm going to melt a, a half a stick of butter for the topping, and we'll be right back. While my butter's melting, I have a cup, and, and they're pecan halves. So I'm going to go ahead and roughly chop these. I don't want them too small, but I don't want them this big either. I'm just going to go over them a few times with this knife. And now I gotta get my butter. Alright, now for the crust. I have a half a cup of brown sugar. 
And I'm going to add a half a cup of self-rising flour. I like to use self-rising because it seems like it does better to me. I'm just going to mix this together. I'm trying not to scrape too much. Y'all cooking Thanksgiving early, and I'm trying to get some stuff done for our Thanksgiving day. <laughs> I'm messing up a lot of dishes, so y'all please bear with me. It can have some lumps in it. That is perfectly fine. You just want to get this flour and brown sugar mixed up. Some people, what I was going to say earlier, I don't know if I said it or not, my blood sugar dropped. I know, it's never in the story. But some people use up to a cup in their filling. I, I think that's too much sugar for us. I mean, it, it might not be for you, but it is for us. So I'm going to add my cup of pecans. Pecans is what I say. Pecans. And a half a cup, which is a half a, no, a half a stick of butter. That's four tablespoons. Get this good and covered. We almost done, y'all. This is the easiest thing. Well, no, the green bean casserole is the easiest to make. This is second, though. I'm gonna get this covered good with your flour and your sugar mixture. Okay, there's kind of a dilemma in people's houses at Thanksgiving whether to use this crust, which my mama didn't use because she didn't, she couldn't eat nuts. She used marshmallows. My husband likes the crust. And I like both. What do you like? Do you like marshmallows? Do you like the crust? pecan crust or do you like or do you even like sweet potato casserole I had a bigger bowl y'all and I just I don't know a whole stick of butter in this whole casserole is plenty plenty for me and it's good all right I'll save my little um butter wrapper just gonna take this and butter my dish. You really should be using an eight by eight. Like I said, I've got dishes full of stuff for Thanksgiving and we get to eat this twice. That's a winner. Use that for your um for your dish. Because if you use a whole stick of butter, you're gonna you're gonna use it. You don't have one left if you're using butter and not margarine. I hope you're using butter. Because margarine's not good for you. That is none of my business. I used it for a long time. Alright, I'm going to spread this out. There's another little piece. Of if you take these potatoes, you're going to find... Oh. You're going to find um, where you... Where you pulled them away from the peeling not many but and sometimes they had get the, the smaller ones have strings on them the bigger ones don't but i don't see any in mine all right now back to the dilemma marshmallows or crust i say why don't we do both why don't we do both why because we can because it'll be good, I think. All right, I'm just crumbling this up. Just gonna sprinkle it on the top. Maybe I'll do half with, with both. Hmm, what'd you do? Y'all answer in the comments. I think it'll be good with both because it'll be crunchy and, I don't know, I just think it'll be good. 
You don't have to. If you just want the um, the nut crust, stop right here. Bake it on 350 for 30 minutes. If you want just marshmallows, don't do this step. Add a couple cups of mini marshmallows on top and bake it that way. So I'm going to do both. Because it'll be really good. It'll be way too sweet for me. <laughs> but Thanksgiving's Thanksgiving. It only comes once a year. So I'm going to try this for the first time ever. And see how we like this. Okay, I'm experimenting on y'all. Well, that's just in a pile, ain't it? In a big old glob. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that looks good. I love the smell of marshmallows. I'm not using as many as I normally would. If I if I was just doing marshmallows, I'd probably add about two cups on top. But since we have all of this, we're going to bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes. All right, and it's done, and it is smelling really good. And I have to say, I think I'm going to like the, the double topping. So I'm going to let this cool off for a few minutes. Well, for about 30 minutes because it's really hot. I need to let it set anyway. I'll let everything set and settle. And I'll come back and try it. I've gained five pounds to smell in this. It's completely cooled off because I got busy. I'm going to try a little bit. I think my husband's going to love this. We shall see. All right. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm mm I haven't even tasted the top. Let's see. Mm. I'd say it's a winner for marshmallows and the topping. But you can do it either way or both. Y'all make it some.